Well, hey y'all, if you made this video, chances are you may be having an oil leak on your Kia Telluride. This particular model is a 2020, so I think this is going to be applicable to uh, most of them. I know probably especially 19, 2019 through probably 2022 at least. And maybe the newer ones unless they've uh, got this issue resolved. So in doing my research for this, uh, trying to figure out what the cause was, uh, there are a couple of different options. One is that the oil filter housing, which is plastic, can develop little hairline fractures. And that will cause a slow drip and leak. It's really hard to find. The other possible cause is just that the seal or gasket that it's actually just a little rubber kind of a specially made o-ring but it seals the oil filter assembly to the engine block i've also seen several cases where that can also go bad and that appears to be what is going on with this one so i'm going to change that out today and i want to bring you guys along it really only does it when it's really cold especially you get down the teens and the 20s it's that's when we noticed it uh, we had some days that it moved up into the 40s and 50s and the leak went away and i had a tr hard time finding it and then when it cooled back off i looked again and was able to see it and i seen a little bit of oil coming out where the oil filter housing which is plastic mounts to the side of the engine block and so i'm pretty sure pretty sure our issue is that that rubber seal there so we're going to change that out today and hopefully that fixes it and we'll see how it does so y'all stick around we'll get this thing changed out i do have the torque specs for the bolts on the side of the engine block and so i'll share that with you here when we get it changed out but stick around we'll do some work here and get this changed out so as you can see i do have the tire off you're going to have to do that and the next step is I want to take this fender well out and that is just uh, Phillips head screws holding that in and I will take those out there's another one there that's a press in so there's a, there's a couple of press ins and then a couple of Phillips head screws so I'll take those out And then on this side, you have a lot more of the press-in style fasteners. So most of them are the press-ins and you have, I think three screws on this, the back side of the fender well here. And now once you get all the press-in fasteners, there are also a few on the front side. There's a couple of bolts. So you can see towards the front of the vehicle, the front side of the fender well. So we'll get a few of these out and then see if we can get this off. Now, honestly, see if you can see it, but the oil filter housing is right there where you see those four bolts. See if I can get something out here. So that, that right there is the oil filter housing where it mounts to the side of the block. So potentially you could you know maybe just take these the front half of this fender well loose and you might be able to bend this up and out enough to uh to get to that but i'm gonna go ahead and just take it all the way out that way it's out of the way and i don't have to worry about it and there is another bolt right underneath here that is just holding this corner of this plastic you can see it right there and so now with that I should be able to take this all the way out so there were two bolts right here at the front of this fender well and then one in that corner that you have to get from underneath and 
and now we have complete access to that filter housing so you can see it's pretty nasty where it's been leaking oil so I'll get these bolts taken off here and then uh, I'll try to get an oil pan or something to put down there because I know it's going to lose a little bit of oil and then I'll try to clean it up as best I can kind of get some of that residual oil off of all this these parts here so if it is leaking again I can I'll be able to see it is there 12 millimeter All right, as you can see, here's the oil filter housing. I got it off. I don't know if you can tell, but here's that seal that is we're going to replace. I'll just, I got, I have a little pick that I'll pry that out with, or you might could use just a small flat head screwdriver. And here is the replacement seal. So we just have to get this old one out, put this one in, and there is the part number if you uh, need to find one of these for yourself. This seal doesn't, well, I see one little, I don't know, it's hard to tell. You know, nothing on it really looks bad or, or torn. And it may just be that it's old enough. It's gotten flat and maybe during the cold weather it was just shrinking enough to let that oil bypass. It's still soft. Now, I don't know if it's as soft as the original, but it's definitely not brittle. So let's see if I can pry this out. I just have an O-ring pick here. And there's the old one. Now before I put this new one in, I'm going to go clean this up a little bit. Alright, this cleaned up about as good as I can get it. So, I have the new seal here. And it can really only go in one way. Oh, you can't get it wrong. So just press it into those grooves. So I'll clean up the block side and uh, get this mounted and we should be good. Thank you. 
it is mounted and so for the mounting bolts you want to torque those to 15 foot pounds that's pretty important and i'll also add that if you're going to change the oil this cap right here is 25 foot pounds i'd venture to say that a lot of the oil changing places probably aren't going to torque that and from what i've read that is one potential source of the leak is putting too much torque on that cap and that over torques it and then causes uh cracks in the uh the assembly itself so i definitely want to torque that cap to 25 foot pounds and again the mounting bolts are 15 foot pounds so yeah that's it uh really actually pretty simple to do would have took me no time at all if i you know wasn't having to film it now i'm going to go ahead and change the oil it needed needed an oil change anyhow so i'll start this up and make sure there's no leaks and then i'll go ahead and put all this back together and we should be good to go so thank you guys for watching thanks for checking out the the channel and the video uh we'll see you on the next one y'all have a good one